Okay, guys, I've had a couple other projects going. I had to venture out with my mind a little. So these right here are two bad, a set of batteries I made. It's running this little LED. And it's been going for about six days. The first one I used table salt. Then these I changed up to uh, Epsom salt, which I was planning on doing. I just wanted to see the difference. And it raised the voltage from 6.5 to 1, 1 volt. But the uh, milliamps are still low. They're like 20 milliamps, you know, maybe a little more. So nothing spectacular. And that's what's running. The, the light is actually running off of the regular salt, that little tinny blue light. But these were better. But then... Once I added that powder out of those alkaline, because they're zinc battery also, those regular alkali batteries, I put three uh, AA batteries worth of the black um, carbon, alkaline soap carbon in here. So it's kind of a process getting the stuff out of the batteries. But it's not too bad. On some, it's fairly easy. Some, it's harder. It just, I'll have to get a technique down. You can see inside here. All this. Now, sometimes it's solid. Now, these ones with the zinc on the outside, sometimes they're solid, sometimes they're not. Powder with alkali. I don't know the formula. It's not too toxic. I wouldn't eat it or nothing. And I made these, so I found these lids. They're supposed to be for the paper cup. I had to get the paper cup and the lid for, to fit on these plastic cups. So I, I want to see what's going on inside. Three tablespoons of Epsom salt. like a small shot of a got a hair on there too anyway a vinegar a little cap full of vinegar I don't want too much vinegar it's fairly corrosive I want these uh, plates to last as long as possible now that in itself will create a fair you know a decent amount of power not a whole lot. I think it creates 20 milliamps and one volt with just what I just mixed up right here. Now, I scoop this stuff up. This is the alkali powder from the batteries. And I mix this up real good. It actually mixes up well. It all kind of dissolves. Turns into this black mud. I drilled a couple little holes in the lid for the two negative plates. And down it goes into the if I need any more, I'll just pour more water in there. I might need a little bit. So here's the voltage. It might be a below a volt because it's just getting started. So it's 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.98, 0 0.96, 0 0.9. So right there at a volt, 0 0.96 volts. So that light's running off of the two of those batteries that aren't being recharged yet. These three were being charged off the solar panel for a couple hours anyway. And I'm going to turn them on all night. There we go. <laughs> That's running off of three of those batteries. I was using the copper, but it won't hold up. <laughs> 
chemicals are too strong for copper. So I went to this and this works perfect. I can't believe how well this works. Yes, stainless steel for a battery. Who would ever dreamed? 